Well, this next story is really hard to hear. A three year old little boy is in the hospital tonight fighting for his life after police say he was brutally beaten by his mother's boyfriend. Family members say little Nehemiah Torres is now in a coma. In court, prosecutors said his mother knew of this abuse but did nothing to stop it and she is now behind bars charged with injury to a child by omission. KPRC 2 Sienna Rhodes is live in the newsroom with those heartbreaking details. See on. Heartbreaking and horrific, Daniela. Doctors say Nehemiah is severely malnourished, has burns on the top of his head, bruises all over his face and body, broken ribs, and injuries to his liver and lungs. The abuse suffered at the hands of his mother's boyfriend, according to police, and that she witnessed. Just a happy go lucky kid. A once vibrant little boy. The big smile and just a big heart and the best hugs. Is now in a coma. How can someone do that to a three-year-old? Emma Schieffer is little Nehemiah's great aunt. She found out Friday night he was taken by life flight to a hospital and visited him the next day. It, it was heartbreaking. I mean, it, it's just like you couldn't help but cry. At, and just seeing him with the neck brace on with all the tubes in his head. Defendant witnessed multiple acts of abuse. In her first court appearance, prosecutors detailed the allegations against Nehemiah's mother, Jasmine Salas. Defendant allowed and permitted defendant's boyfriend to physically abuse complainant on multiple occasions without reporting boyfriend. The mom's supposed to protect him. That's what a mom does. A judge set bail for Salas at $150,000 and ordered she have no contact with Nehemiah or his five-year-old brother who was also allegedly abused. The defendant allegedly admitted to the officers that she was on track to get her life back together until the children's father uh, went to jail and she was stuck with the kids. And I'm, I'm concerned that if this is her solution, being stuck with the children that she chose to have, these kids are not safe. The family now calling for justice. I want them both to stay behind bars for the rest of their life. And praying Nehemiah gets a second chance. I'm believing in a miracle and that we will have that smiling boy again. In court, the judge named the boyfriend, but he has not yet been charged, and it's not clear whether he's in custody. Family members say he was arrested today, but Houston police would not confirm, saying no additional information would be released at this time. Live in the newsroom, Sion Rhodes, KPRC 2 News. Oh, so horrific to hear those details, Sion. Thank you for your story.